Hello everyone, my name is Rao Andrew. I'm the manager for fuel and licensing department here at Bison Transport. And today I want to talk a little bit about fuel. Now, as an owner operator, you know, of course you can try to do all the math yourself, right? You can ask the recruiter, okay, what's your fuel price? Okay, what is your fuel subsidy? Um, and try to do the math yourself. However, things are not that easy. So for example, the fuel price of a certain day uh, for a certain city doesn't really paint a really good picture of what your fuel price will be when you're running around. You know, for example, the price in the East in Mississauga versus the price in Winnipeg will be very different, right? First, what you're gonna pay in the US it will all be very different. So that's number one. Number two, fuel subsidy is really just a snapshot of, um, of the market condition and whatever the carrier is going to pay you for that period of time. It, does not really fully align with you know whatever you price you see today, right? So if you take an example, say well, if you ask the own, the recruiter what is your subsidy, they likely will tell you what the fuel subsidy was for the past pay period, and they will be able to tell you what the fuel price is today. Now, in a market condition that's going up, you'll probably tell you today's price at a higher point, but in last week fuel price was here, so fuel subsidy was lower as well, or vice versa. So that is not a, the best way to figure out what your fuel experience will be like with that carrier. Um, now, another question you can ask the recruiters also is, okay, what is your, what is the net fuel your own operators are paying when, when working with you, right? And then you can figure out, okay, can the, own, can the recruiters actually able to answer those questions? Now, if they are able to, that means well, you know, it's probably probably a carrier that that you know that knows a lot about their actual experience of the owner operators. So it's probably a better option, you know, versus someone who may or may not know the answer. Um, now for Bison, our owner operators have a owner operators pay on average twenty two cents per mile. Um, now some owner operators are able to do things really well; they can drive very efficiently, they can buy fuel at the right spot um, with all the information we provide them. So some own operators, their net fuel cost is as low as 14 cents per mile on average for a year. So for those own operators, their final payday is gonna be a little bit bigger than the other own operators, right, even on our own fleet. So you know, it's, it's a complicated um, topic, but what I'm trying to get to is what really matters at the end of the day is not your fuel discount. It's not how much fuel subsidy you get. Um, it is your net fuel, right? So whatever you spend minus whatever you get as a fuel subsidy and what your net fuel expense is. And that's something you really need to figure out when deciding which carrier you want to work with.